Hello fellow engineers, we're back in Timberborn to build us some beaver stuff. By the way, remember my beavers t-shirt? Well, it's now been made, check out my sample version. If the merch entices you, check out my Patreon page, it's the only current way to get it. But we're back in Timberborn's view, look how far I can zoom out, it's because I installed a zoom out mod in the Timberborn's and it's night time. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Ah. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timber Borners. Uh, firstly, a couple of apologies. One, sorry, yep, we're still doing the intro song. <laughs> as long as I get one comment that says they're loving it, I'm still going to keep on doing it. Yeah, and secondly, sorry for pushing that t-shirt. I'm just so proud of that design. It's such a cool design. The Beavles, Timber Road, such a good album. That Paul McTimberwood and Ringo Dam, they were really, really underappreciated in their time. But uh, their memory lives on in the form of a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, anyway, did you notice that zoom? I can zoom out so far now. What a cool mod. We can see the entire map. It's a little bit misty, though. Misty! Uh, but yeah, I've also installed another mod. This probably wasn't my finest moment. It's probably the third apology I need to make in this video already. Basically, I was scrolling through the old mod page on Timberborn, and then I came across this one. Extended architecture. Yes, despite the name, despite the name, it does actually sound quite good. So yes, it's installed and basically we've got a load of new little toys to play with. So if we come down here and we go into parts and structures, we've got all the usual stuff. But if we head to the very end, we've got arch 4x1 and arch 5x1. Which means we can finally put like arches. <laughs> Essentially, surprisingly. <laughs> it basically means we can build like on top of things, which we haven't been able to do ever. Like you can't build anything on top of like buildings and water storage unless they've got a flat roof like these buildings. But now we can slash should be able to. Let's unlock that. Yes, please. And we'll unlock the other one as well. So if we come over here and we look at this, can you see there's like two blue blocks in the middle? That essentially means it doesn't matter what's there. So for example, let's say, I don't know, let's say we want to build over... A hauling post so you can see it's sort of it's two blocks long so if we make sure those blue ones are lined up we can build that there but higher up as long as we put the platforms in first so let's put a platform in there a platform in there and then look we can build there we've never been able to do that before we finally have arches oh it looks like scaffolding which means potentially some very very cool things to happen we could perhaps build an aqueduct like a proper aqueduct with gaps underneath oh now i'm excited now i'm excited all right, first off, is there any need for an aqueduct anywhere? Is there anywhere we want to take water to? I mean, honestly, not really. Perhaps that's one for another video. Making a full-on aqueduct with things under... Oh, I do. I want to do it so bad. Surely I can make it worthwhile. Surely. <laughs> right, so the thing is, I think we're going to have to come from about here. Maybe we could just come over on a highway and drop into this. All right, first off, we're going to have to demolish some berries. So when it comes to the demolish tool, we'll say mark resources for demolition. Where are we going to do this? I reckon that strip. So they need to get removed. Now, the trouble is our beavers can't get up to that top level without some steps. I'm not sure if I put steps in. Whether they just use them or whether they need to be connected to a path. So we might have to remove those berries as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. But yeah, essentially remove berries, dynamite a load of layers down. And the water's going to be just below that level there. Right, so we've basically got a levied aqueduct up to that point. And then we can start doing our arches. So we can do that there, that there, and that there. Oh, actually, no, I'm a level I'm a level too low. So the water level will actually be this level, you idiot, Matt. Which means that contains the water. Yeah, okay, okay. So now we want to arch under there and then put levees on top because I think water just goes through these. These are basically platforms. So we need to put levees on top. Oh, we can't build levees on top. Well, that's the end of that adventure then. <laughs> oh, game, you got my hoops up then. Right, well, anyway, never mind. Back as you were. <laughs> Back as we are. At least now we can stack buildings with gaps underneath. There is a positive. There is a positive. Now, oh, check out this. So this is our super space saving thing we made last time. We've got a river. We've got 
power shafts, and then we've got a path on top, meaning we can maximize our farm area. And I had a great idea that I stole from the comments. Uh, we should make this side like a huge bakery area. So these wheels, how much power are they producing? They are producing 112 HP. And if we go into our food tab, we've got the grist mill here. That requires 60 HP. So we can have two of those. So if we first off start... Planting some crops. We've got the wheat to put down. So we'll plonk this down. I think basically all of this area is going to be wheat. So Liquid E, who is in there, they are planting the wheat. You can see that growing there nicely. We're then going to want to connect these shafts up to a grist mill. If we go into food, we unlock the grist mill for 180 science. Can we afford that? Yes, we've got 14 and a half thousand science. So yes, please. So we can shove one of those there. And one of those there. And yes, these are a very chody building. Very chody. But then to get the power up, we simply just do a right hand bend there. A straight and up and down it. Also known as a high power shaft. And then we just do a corner into the building. And because these two buildings are touching, the power is shared between them. So that is the grist mills done. We've got some wheat being grown here. But I'm literally just going to make all of this wheat. And then finally, we'll need a bakery. That turns the wheat with a little bit of wood to fuel it into bread. Mm, bread. So if we unlock that for 160 science, we can plonk one of those about there. And that's also quite a strongly shaped building as well. Right, so over on the Beaverville side, it looks like we have eight unemployed people. So I'm literally just going to migrate eight of you over to Happyville because uh, we've got big plans over there. So we should see eight people crossing the dam nice so who's this little guy that's just come over real software engineer nice i guess they're an engineer as well and then who's this other one that's joined as well software engineer what what's with all the software engineers <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome anyway, guys. We've also got Hodge, Brian Johnson, and engineers. Really? Come on, guys. I thought we were over this. I thought we were over the shaming. I might have to make a third district, guys. I might have to make a third district for the shamers. Anyway, this is nearly done now. We can at least delete some of these parts to make a bit more space for us. So if we delete that strip, then this is what the finished article is actually going to look like, which is fantastic. Look at all the space we've got. I think we can just create jobs everywhere. So Super Bobich has gone in there. Hodge has become another farmer. I should probably just build another farmhouse. I do also, I need to be careful of this. I think I need to send food back. So we might need a distribution post thing. Although actually we do need wood. So let's say cut down some trees. Maybe we should plant some trees over here as well. Well, actually, what if we share? I think we could put a lumberjack flag in over here somewhere. Only takes up a little bit of room. Then we can probably cut down some of these maples back there. And I mean, to be honest, now this is all green. We may as well tell this forester, redneck engineer, nice. I hope it's not because you're sunburn, like Dr. Sunburn over here. But we may as well tell him, plant a few more maples. Let's do a strip like that, perhaps. And then we've definitely got trees for these guys as well. Next up, we're going to go mental with the farmhouses. So we may as well shove that up here out of the green area. So we'll put one there. We'll put one on this side. High prioritize these. I think you guys think they're going to need some logs. I'm going to send some logs over. So if we head over to our distribution post and add a new route, select some logs to be sent. Okay. And then we'll just pause a water pumper. I think there's enough people pumping their logs on this side. Mr. Kuro, you've been paused. So now he's in the distribution post. He should send over some logs to Happyville. Nice. Ooh, and that gives me an idea of what we could use our new arch things for because i'm pretty sure yeah we can't build platforms over like farm area oh and just quickly i really need to build happyville some houses they're all sleeping out on the lawn look at them oh poor little beavers look at their little faces oh dear i'm sorry guys i, I will get around to building your house soon I'll tell you what, on this side, we probably do actually need some more water pumps. Now we've got a bigger community. Why why can't I build that? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's facing the wrong way, Matt. You've got to put the dippy bit in the water. All right, let's shove a water pump there. Another one there and another one there. So even more things to build. We really need to get some logs over. I might actually add another job or two. So Ricky Colon, you are also distributing stuff to Happyville for the greater good. Uh, but yeah, what I was thinking. So in terms of like planting wheat in here we can still build i think so in terms of platforms we can build these on paths we can build them like on the grass we can't build them where the vegetables are growing right okay i think i found a spot to test this properly so if we go into the platforms you can see i can build a platform there i can build a platform there i can't build where these berries are that's the same if it was carrots or wheat or whatever we obviously can't build on top of things that are growing 
but we can build either side. If we grab an arch, when we try and build that there, it doesn't work. I think that's just because the arch isn't high enough, so that is technically clashing. But if we do a platform there and a platform there, can we arch on top of that? Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. That is a game changer. Because then we can build all of our stuff on top of that. Now, granted, in real life, this probably isn't possible. Because uh, you'd be blocking the sun from all the vegetables growing underneath. But I think this is an awesome way to save space. I also want to know, is there a height I can put trees beneath buildings as well? So there's a nice little three of there. So if I do a double platform there and a single platform there, can we build that on top? No, we can't, but that's because these are just baby trees. It's a seedling. They might grow. If we do another platform, is that now high enough? No. What about another platform? So this would be a triple platform at ground level. Yes, we could do that. That's pretty high though. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the, the amount of stairs you need to get up there. Not entirely sure it's worth it just to save like nine squares. So maybe it's better just to build over vegetables and not over trees. So for example, if we wanted to do a log storage, we could do like a row of three there. And we'll go one, two, three, four, a row of three there. Then we can put these on top. And if we come to storage, we can put our industrial log pile up there. And if we make it face forward, we can then make this path like double story because we can build paths under these they're just platforms so we could do that do stairs up there another platform there another platform there stairs on that path in the middle and then double platforms at least are there but ideally a bit further just so we can have paths all the way i think i may as well do all of that we'll go to there path on top and then if we want to extend this we just do those three we do those three wang those on there and then we've got a whole second story of our building this is awesome so we can do log piles to there and then if we wanted to we could do log piles on top and have our staircase in the middle so basically we do our double platform to that edge path all the way along to there realized i missed a double platform there let's put that one in <laughs> path on top but then we do stairs going that direction with a single platform there with a path on top oh yes so we got a lot of log storage going on there but underneath if we go back to this view so you can just see the foundations we can come to wheat and look we can just plant all of that so that's all planted despite there being that much building on top Yes, I like this. I like this a lot. The trouble is, that's all very, very expensive. That's a lot of planks. So I've now set up the distribution post. So they're sending logs, gears, and planks. They need the gears because they need to do this high power shaft, which requires one gear. Oh, and now they've received their gear. I can... I can tell them not to send gears anymore. So we'll come to the distribution post again. We'll go to gear and we'll bin that off. So now they're just sending logs and planks. Lovely. And pretty much once we've built all the buildings, this is just going to be a farming area. So we shouldn't have to do too much more. Although I am tempted to keep all the scavenger stuff on this side. So all the metal production. But remembering all the setup for this industrial area, as well as the amount of power we needed, maybe that's not the most sensible idea. But there is so much scrap metal on this side. I forgot there's all this up here. This old ruin. Okay, I think then we're probably going to want a distribution post. Okay, so they cost 30 logs and 15 planks. How? Oh man, it's huge. I forgot how big it was. Maybe this needs to go up there instead. I don't think we need... Do we need all of those log storages? If this is a farming area, we're not going to be building too much. Yeah, I think that's a bit over the top, map. It was a good idea, but was it necessary? No, don't think so. So the question is, can we fit the distribution post up there? Oh god, it's so big. That's what she said! <laughs> right, we may have to put another thing. This is going to take too long to build though. I'll tell you what, I might just build this up here. Yeah, so we'll have that there. And then over in Beaverville, I can squeeze a cheeky drop-off point in that gap. We're basically in the gooch. But that's where the scrap metal will end up, ready to be processed. Right, nice. All right, so meanwhile, back in Beaverville, we have one unemployed beaver. That is this guy, James YouTube. Cheeky bit of self-promotion there. Love to see it. Uh, however, you're getting you're getting migrated, mate. So my great population from Beaverville to Happyville, one beaver. They should send him because he doesn't have a job. Yep, he's now over here in our new farmhouse. So he's working together with Clueless Clown, planting some wheat. Oh, look at this. Our path is completed. So we can now delete all of that. Check that out. That is cool. That's what I love. Like engineering like this, like where it looks so simple, but it brings so much much of the tape actually it doesn't bring it why why do we have a path over here <laughs> there's no point in having a path over here anymore oh there actually maybe there is perhaps we could get up to that mine 
for the late game stuff. But I think for now, we'll just go crazy with the wheat. So if we plant some more crops, we'll basically just plant that entire area. <laughs> We're making Jane work for his YouTube promotion. But yeah, things are going pretty well. I'm liking, I'm really liking this new architecture stuff. It's just a case of what do I actually build up here? Like I would do grist mills, but they need power. Oh no, I've just realized we need bakeries. I haven't built the bakeries yet. We can do that. So bakeries, you can go up there. Yes, we've got half a baker's dozen of bakeries up there. Wait, is a baker's dozen 12 or is it 24 or is it 13? I'm not sure. I'm going to delete... Oh, I was going to delete that bakery, but they've already put 15 planks into it. Well, they take 10 gears as well. Oh, I did not realize that. Well, I better build this one first because I feel like these ones might take a while with all the platformage required. Particularly as these things also need metal blocks, the architect stuff. So we might need to add another route as well into our distribution post. So send over some metal blocks. Oops, I've just realized as well, these pumping stations, they actually need paths, don't they? So we've planted over the paths. I've just told them to be removed. Annoyingly, that might take a while, but still, we have no logs, which does mean I've got to be careful. We got 169. Nice. Water. Now we got 14 beavers on this side, though. That's quite a lot, actually. Do need to be a little bit careful. But yeah, overall, things are looking fantastic. I won't lie to you. We've got 2,700 water, 1,700 food. I feel like we're in a good state of sort of equilibrium. Oh, we also have two unemployed beavers. So we had a few new people grow up like Snow Farmer. Well, unfortunately, Snow Farmer, there's no snow. But if I migrate you, you can at least put your farming skills to work. Farming all the wheat. Very nice. We've, we've almost planted up, actually. I'll add my paths in down to there. I've also done a path like around the back, just so we're future-proof so we can put more pumps in along this edge. Uh, and Zenri Otsoi is in the grist mill, but we, we haven't got any wheat yet. So I'm going to have to pause you. You also don't have power either. So you're paused, but you can go be a farmer joining Clueless Clown in sitting on your ass. Uh, what I might do, I might plant back there with a bit more wheat. Uh, and actually, I've just had a thought. All this wheat is going to die, isn't it? Because we've only got a water source there in the dry season. Oh, that's a bit of an oversight, Matt. That is a bit of an oversight. Oh, actually, actually, why don't we build a dam down here? I think we will do that. Floodgates or a dam? I know a floodgate will hold slightly more water but they're way harder to build. I might just do dams and maybe these should take the priorities. Yeah, I sort of want to rush this actually before the dry season happens. So we're going to add a few more people in here. Who have we got joined? We've got Orktop, Zeno, Planners Over Architects. Nice. And Zach Ryan. Oh, Snow Farmer. I thought I thought I sent you to the farming district. Very cheeky. Yeah, we're going to bin off everything and we're just going to send a load of logs. So you four, you need to build fast. We got 2.7 days till the dry season. You can see they are coming over and building these. Can they build them quickly enough though? We really, really want to block off some of this water before the dry season. So I'm not too sure how this is going to store water. I'm sort of thinking maybe I should have gone deeper with my trenches. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Brett Costa has also joined the distribution post. Beaverville are truly trying to help Happyville out. We've we got one damn piece in. We've got 1.7 days left. Will we have enough time to build these? I really, really hope so. Right, we're on to the last day before the dry season. The sun is rising. Oh man, I'm not sure if we're going to do this. Okay, that damn piece is built. We've just got that one to go. It's got no logs at the moment. Not good. Also not good. I was just looking to see who else was born. Fake civil engineer. I'm going to have to get Shaneville up and running again, aren't I? I'm going to have to. Right, looking at the clock, we're halfway through the day. We've only just got half the amount of logs in that we need. This is going to be tight. I might have to extend the working hours. Oh, we're so close. 70. We need three more logs. There's only like an hour or two left of the working day. Final log has gone in. He's built it. Yes, we built it. We built it. Which means this water will back up and we should be able to store a bit, a little bit, when the dry season hits, which is now the drought has started. Look up here, there's no more water coming. So as it dries up, we need to come over here. We need to raise these floodgates. So we're storing that water. Meanwhile, down this end, the Happyville end, I'm hoping this area here will stay blue. Yes. So we lose that corner. But everything else stays green. There's no water entering this area. This is all just what we've worked for. What the hell? And apparently there's still water coming out the dam. What? 
Did I not build this properly? Where's that damn engineer gone? I'm not swearing. We literally have a damn engineer in our colony. Right, he is in there pumping his log. Real damn engineer. Did you... Were you not involved in this? Who put you on pumping logs? I'm worried you are responsible for this. Fake civil engineer. They're only a child, so I don't know if I can really blame them. Don't know how this could have happened. Particularly when we have you, site reliability engineer. Thought you were meant to be making the place reliable. I'm not sure that's happened. This is like the least reliable dam I've ever seen. Anyway, oh look, look. <gasps> We've got our first bit of wheat. We can harvest it. Although unfortunately we don't have any power for our grist mill. So we can't actually use that yet. And now our storage is full as well. Not quite going to plan this. Oh, I'm also not sure, Super Bobich, whether you should be pumping your log, if I'm honest. I feel like keeping the area green is probably more sensible at this stage. Uh, speaking of sensible, I need to swap winter for summer jobs and all that stuff. We got seven and a half days to survive. Do you think we will? Let me know in the comments because this is the end of the Timberborners season two episode. I don't know. There's a lot. There's been a lot. I think we're on like double digits. 11 or 12. Blimey. Anyway, guys, if you are enjoying the self-proclaimed best soap opera on YouTube, boost your like button and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love and using architecture for good. Bye.